Okay, folks. As I said, this is episode 27 of Trampcast. And we begin, as has become customary, with the numbers. Just some facts about the number 27 while we wait and see if anybody else joins us. I've got quite a few facts here, but we'll try and um, we'll try and limit this and not, not take too long. Flaring in and out a little bit as well, aren't we? Let's have to see if I'm missing, any, missing anything in the uh, first video without beard, says Jasper. I think I've done this once before where she took where she took it down to the bone. Um, but I didn't actually run the razor proper over. So I'm not sure it's quite the first, but almost. Okay, guys, the number 27. Facts and facts and uh, interesting tidbits about the number 27. It is a cubic number. 3 times 3 times 3 gives you 27, or 3 to the power 3, as a mathematician might say. Okay, it is the only integer that is 3 times the sum of the digits that, uh, that make it up. So the digits, Tina girl, Tina girl, the digits are obviously 2 and 7, which add up to 9, and the number itself, 27, is 3 times that 9, as we just discussed. This is the only positive integer where this is the case. Unless you want to prove me wrong, go find some others. Okay, folks, Tina girls, let's have some quiet. Tina! I said let's have some quiet. Which fact shall we go with next? I'll do them in the order I've got them written, even though we might have to loop back to some topics. The 27 Club. This is the oft-observed um, phenomenon that... Um, People who make it famous young sometimes go a little bit off the rails and, um, and end up dead at the age of 27, frequently through overdoses. And uh, okay, the tent just took a took a hit from the wind there. Not particularly foggy today, um, Jasper. No, no. Uh, sun last Sunday, I didn't mention last Sunday was particularly foggy. Um, Monday also, and uh, and even into Tuesday we had fog. The Sunday one was spectacular in that it happened at lunchtime. It wasn't at the end of the day or early in the morning. It rolled in around lunch. I didn't mention it in last week's Trampcast. I was too caught up in other events from Sunday morning. If you remember. Back to the number 27 and the uh, 27 Club. Join me on Sundays for Trampcast. It's the weekly look at the successes, the failures, the happenings in my life as a, uh, a tramp, a homeless guy, a hobo, living in Torrevieja in Spain. It's at 5 o'clock Spanish time, Central European time. It's at 4 p.m. GMT, UK time. And 10 a.m. US Central time. Love to see you there, folks. Okay. Delta Mike, out. So some oft-cited um, deaths of, of people aged 27. Kurt Cobain, Jimi Hendrix, Janis Joplin and Jim Morrison. Okay, another fact about the number 27. The Earth's surface is said to be 72% covered by salt water, 1% covered by fresh water, leaving 27% to be land. I'm not sure how accurate this, this particular stat is, or how easy it is to measure. But that's the stat that they provide, so I'll go with it. A tennis... Tennis? Shall I put my teeth back in and try again? A tennis court is 27 feet wide. It's nine yards in old money. A Rubik's Cube. Again, we're back on three times three times three. A Rubik's Cube. It consists of 27 cubes, 27 small cubes to make the overall puzzle. In the Old Testament, Leviticus, which is the law giving um, book, has 27 chapters. This is the one that dictates kind of thou shalt not eat um, prawns. I know. More prawns, Vicar. For some reason, if it comes from the sea and doesn't have fins or scales, you're not supposed to eat it. Oh, Jasper's bringing up the uh, Jasper's bringing up the, uh, the, the the interesting questions. Nothing related to number twenty-seven, though, is it, Jasper? Timing, my friend. Timing. He's seen the video where I made some ginger beer, and he's asking if I'm going to make any more. Maybe one day. 
Uh, there's no, there's no firm plan, but uh, anything's possible, my friend. That stuff came in handy when the old tent split end to end, and I spent the weekend in a bit of a, a bit of a depressed mood. Having uh, eight liters of uh, ginger beer on hand was uh, useful. Okay. Fruits of the sea without uh, without fins and scales. You're not supposed to eat them. So that's shellfish and things like that. I think a lot of these rules came about for health health reasons. Um, prawns, mussels, etc. Often um, seafood of that type, shellfish, spoils easily. And if you're in hot countries like the Middle East, you're probably going to get ill more often than uh, than we modern folk with refrigeration and things. Anyway. Eddie Izzard, remember him? Huh? Wah. Not going there. I'm not getting involved in that discussion. I've got enough arguments on Twitter at the minute already. Check out my uh, Twitter uh, um, account if you want to see what we're arguing about at the minute. But Eddie Izzard, when he was a he, I'm dead naming, but whatever. Um, he ran 27 marathons in 27 days. And with almost zero training. Quite the achievement. He wasn't the fastest marathon runner, it has to be said. But he was all right. Fair play to him, and he raised money for charity. Okay, we always have a periodic table one, don't we? There's always some chemistry in here, even though I know nothing at all about chemistry. 27 is the atomic number of cobalt which I literally knew nothing about, except for references to it in Battlestar Galactica. Don't start. Don't start. <laughs> it, uh, it, it's found on Earth um, individually, in, in its pure form, very, very rarely under the specific um, circumstances. Mainly it's found um, in, in asteroids that have, uh, that have crashed crash to earth is, is it kind of purest forms but even then it's often kind of melted and mixed with the with the other metals in the uh, in the I'm gonna say chondrite asteroids or meteors I think that's the right word for the metallic ones that fall to earth I'm pulling that out of nowhere I didn't read that this morning so I probably shouldn't mention it but I'm gonna go with chondrite I'll even have a go at spelling it c-o-n-d-r-i-t-e there might be a H in there after the C, I'm not sure, but we'll... I'll have a check, and when I clip this and release this later, we'll put a, we'll put a, a correction or a confirmation on the screen, because sometimes I go off on tangents talking crap. You've never noticed, have you? Okay. It's usually found chemically combined with, with other... So not just in an alloy, not just melted with, with other metals, usually actually chemically combined into um, into other forms and the name this is this I did read this morning the name comes from the German word for goblins indeed Jasper's there cobalt is used in batteries in um, lithium-ion batteries not lithium-ion phosphate but the other ones the lithium-ion um, batteries so it's become quite um, uh, quite lucrative, quite quite in demand in recent years. It's also been used historically um, throughout ancient history for for its blue pigment uh, effects in um, in glassware and on pottery. Um, yeah, ceramics. And also another use for it, and I think this is my final factoid on this one. It's used as a catalyst in the petroleum refining uh, industry. So it helps you get your petrol and your other um, your other crude oil products. Okay, folks, that was the number twenty-seven. Indeed, my friend. Indeed, Jasper's just saying he's always on a tangent. I've noticed. We'll try and stay on topic, though, mate. We'll try and stay on topic. Okay, guys. That was the numbers. The number twenty-seven. Next in my running order is the getting to know you section or getting to know me 